Young Ace, welcome to Mikey's Gaming Oasis. I know what you're thinking. Mikey doesn't do ARC news. What is going on here? Well, I couldn't help myself, guys. I'll be honest. I love Aberration from ASE. I love the way it looked. I love how vertical it was. It wasn't flat. I cannot, and the new creatures, the bioluminescence. So I can't wait for Aberration to come out for ASA. So I had when I saw that they had launch news out, and it's only a couple days away, I had to go in. And the first thing we see, and I mean the first thing we see, is Cosmo being used as a web shooter on our steampunk-clad survivor. So that'll be interesting to see how that's going to play out. Uh, with that, it, it may bring some of those questions that people have about it being pay to win, but we'll cover that more here in a little bit. I'm hoping they have the balance right on it. Uh, I've got a lot of questions on how this is going to work, so it'll be very interesting to find out, uh, let alone how to tame it. Uh, yeah, there's just a ton of questions. We'll get to that in a little bit. Okay, so the Aberration launch plans. Uh, September 4th, obviously, we all know that, and we're all looking forward to it. Uh, Mm, the time. The time is unknown. Later in the day, U.S. schedule will have more a, a more accurate time frame on release day. So that kind of tells me that it'll most likely be around 4, 5, 30, 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time into the business day. Uh, so we'll see on that one. I, that's gonna kind of suck for those for those uh, survivors in Europe and in Asia, where I know we have a big following of fellow survivors there. So plan accordingly, guys. Now, the release time is that I just gave is my best estimate. With that being said, if you have a guess on when the release time is, feel free to put it in that comment section down below. I'd love to see them and see where we go with that. Okay, and then of course the release dates that come with every launch of a new map. Uh, we are going to have a two times evil event style uh, rates. So two times breeding, XP, and harvesting for the first two weeks of aberration. So that'll give us a chance to get a good base established, get the resources we need to really get going in there. Uh, and it'll be interesting to see how well that's going to work. Because you, you know as well as I do, just like with uh, the release of the center, as soon as... And and uh, uh, Scorched Earth, as soon as we get in there, we're going to find things that need a little tweaking. It's going to crash a couple times here and there. Unfortunately, that's just what we deal with for being wildcard fans and loving this game so much. So we got we to gotta be ready for that. Wait. What exactly is coming on September 4th? Aberration Ascended is more than just a map. It's a complex ecosystem filled with dangers and beauty. Its treacherous landscape of eerie caves and intricate biomes will be yours to explore. Additionally, the free community voted creature, the Yiling, will join your ranks. This agile wall climbing raptor brings a deadly edge to your survival strategy with razor sharp quills and the ability to adapt to many situations. So that's that's interesting. So we already knew it was going to be a wall climber. We figured that out. We figured out that it was going to glide. OK, when it talks about its sharp quills and then immediately goes into its ability to adapt to many situations, I think that's alluding to what we saw in the dossier where it says, watch what it's eat. So I'm guessing I'm hoping that some of the guesses that have come out through the community of the depending on what the yieling eats will depend on what kind of quills it shoots. That's going to be interesting to find out as well as how to tame it. Uh, Bob's Tall Tales will expand once more with Steampunk Ascendant, the, an expansion that takes you beyond the underground chaos of aberration. I think that means that we're probably going to have Earthquake still, which is cool, adds a little bit of difficulty to us, uh, and into a world of gears, cogs, and steam power reign supreme. This paid expansion is free for all current Bob Tall Tales owners, offering an exhilarating mix of innovation and adventure. Meet Cosmo, the web-slinging shoulder pet with a knack for getting you out of tight spaces. Again, that goes into 
uh, the what we saw in the first picture where individual where Cosmo's attached to your arm and you're using it as a web slinger like your Spider-Man. Uh, and then it, it's going to go into everybody's asking if it's going to be a pay to win kind of thing with this team. I think it's going to deter. I think it's going to depend on what allows you to have that ability to web sling. If it's something that just it lasts longer, depending on how well it's leveled or what's in its inventory to use like ammo. I think that's all going to come into play and how well it's balanced to determine whether or not it's going to help with this argument that's going on in the community about pay to win. So we'll see with that and partner up with survivor mate your indispensable automation companion as you traverse the mechanical marvel of steampunk ascent. Okay, so there's been a lot of questions around the survivor mate. My big question is based off of what I saw in this picture here that we saw in last week's uh, community crunch. It, it shows a survivor mate handing us uh, our survivor a plate of ingots while he's working on another arm. There's been some speculation, and I, I believe it was Roz Clark who who I watched, uh, who said that he it may depend on what attachments the survivor mate has to determine what it will be able to gather for you. So that brings in the question, is it going to be an autonomous uh, resource gatherer? that breaks down the materials or is it going to be like one of those in one of those mods that have been out for ever and is like super, super popular that say you come back from gathering and you drop all this stuff off and it automatically sorts it for you. I mean, it, it's going to be very interesting to see how this works to determine whether or not survivor mate is adding to this pay to win fear that's going through the community. Uh, I personally am hoping that it, it has that, that fine balance that's needed because on the PVE side, it can help those who are solo players gather the resources and stay up with the larger tribes. But on the PVP side, I see how it can give those larger tribes an unfair advantage, especially if you can have multiple survivor mates in one tribe doing things. Okay. So we're going to have to wait and see on that and see how that all pans out. Okay. Let's take a quick look at this. These few updates they have here. They have an AMD update. Uh, this will be working on all platforms across all hardwares. So, uh, so with the aberration launch, players can expect to see an approximately 80% performance gain on console and PC, assuming they weren't already using frame generation. Ooh, 80%. That is a big, big uh, claim there. I mean, that's a massive boost. If it comes out to be that way, I think that's going to make the community very happy. So we'll see on that one. Uh, the, the Unreal Engine 5.4 upgrade. I know everybody's been looking forward to it. At the same time, there's some trepidation about it. So let's see what they have to say. Uh, the upgrade work is mostly complete. However, we're still putting it through our internal uh, quality assurance process as there are a lot of changes that we'll need to make that we'll need to make sure are stable before we can release this out into the wild. We're currently targeting sometime between October 15th and November 15th as the launch window for this update. So again, I know I'm name dropping Roz Clark here, but he did a video on this not too long ago, I believe. I think it was him uh, talking about uh, the Unreal Engine update, about how he doesn't think it's going to happen with Aberration, which, hey, he's right. They say it right there. It's not going to happen with Aberration. But I think with the timeline they've given, it's most likely going to be released around the time of the Extra Life event. So I think that'll be good. And I believe we have a, they've teased us a couple times about a mystery map or another map coming out in that time frame as well. So it'd be a couple months. So if it's closer to November, I see us getting another map and this, and then we also have the extra life event. So we'll see what's, what comes down the pipe in the future. 
Okay, guys. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me and sticking with my weirdness here. I know it was weird to have me do a news update, but it is what it is. Uh, so for some of my subscribers that uh, have been asking when I'm going to be going live on September 4th for the Aberration launch, I'm going to be going live at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I know that is crazy early compared to what the uh, launch window is for the game that they gave. I, I know it's very ambiguous with their launch window saying later in the day for the U.S. schedule. But the, what I want to do is I want to go through ASE Aberration, get us reacquainted with it, okay? See how it looks. See how it feels again. Okay, watch me get killed multiple times as I try to build a base and survive until the download for ASA's Aberration comes out. Once the ASA Aberration comes out, I will down start downloading it immediately on both my systems, my Xbox One X and my PC. And then we'll, as soon as one of them comes up, I will then throw it up as a side-by-side -side so we can get a side-by-side -side comparison, well, just like we did with the center, to see what the difference is between the two maps, okay? Then we'll roll into looking at the Bob's Tall Tales editions, as well as the Yi Ling, to see what else we got. I can't personally, personally, I can't wait to see what they did with the biomes within Aberration, and how the graphics are going to be different compared to the two, because as we saw with every map that they've released so far, the island, Scorched Earth, and the center, the differences have been amazing when it comes to the look and the feel of the maps. So I cannot wait for this to happen. Thank you all for joining me. If this was an entertaining for you and it gave you some good, inf or if it gave you some good information, please feel free to hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, it would really help a small channel like mine. Speaking of subscriptions, I wanna thank all my supporters. This week, we hit 253 subs. Thank you all. We are a quarter away to our initial, our long-term goal and halfway to our uh, short-term goal of hitting that 500 subscriber mark. Thank you all, and we'll see you next time.